Last year I came over here and worked a fire lane around all this and it was in February, about February the 10th, 12th, something like that. And it rained the entire month. Matter of fact, while I was working the fire lane, it was raining while I was doing that. And I intended on burning and we just never did have any window of opportunity to really do any burning. It's actually today would be almost perfect. It's not quite exactly dry enough, but tomorrow, Saturday, which would be Friday or Saturday, good possibility, man. It's a nice light wind, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, I just got through fueling the mini up. We're gonna go around, run the fire lanes real quick, just kind of rough them up. Well, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't even take a quarter of the time to do it as it did last year because they were pretty raw last year and some of the spots pushing so with it being opened up all i gotta do is just kind of skin it just a little bit not bad we've got roads all through here and roads act as a natural fire lane right off the bat anyhow it makes it real easy because you can kind of burn it in blocks like block you know block after block so this is a block a block over there. there's a block right here and there's, and there's a road there so that's another block that's surrounded all the way around by a road i mean you just ring it and let her let her go you know see what the wind is doing and start it like that
that's going good this is one that i pushed in raw last year in february and just took me maybe five minutes to come down through there i did lose a glove while i was pushing down through there i guess one of the briars back yonder grabbed it and towed it off i'll find it later but i burnt all of this area here and everything up there where i started the video at with the uh, fueling up everything up that away i did all of it in uh gonna be three years ago now filmed some video got some drone stuff from it and uh i got this whole place except for this block right here that i just come through which i'm not sure how many acres that one's gonna be but i am gonna burn it and the one behind it i didn't get those are the only two that i didn't burn on at a time and i I burnt for two days on this thing and I was just kind of uh I was just kind of done and just left it alone didn't get them but there I'm gonna get all of them this time of course at that time I was still working in the woods so it's kind of limited on my time I was trying to get over here real quick in the afternoons to get the fires going it'll be a different story this time so we're gonna continue on and uh keep on going creeks act as a natural uh fire lane too so that's a good thing. All right, this is what I burnt. It's going to be three years ago in February. And this is a prime candidate for another burn through on it. The saplings are, you know, they're about the size of your thumb, maybe a little bit bigger. There's good. See all the sunlight coming down through there? These trees are a little bit more open on this. And you see the, it goes down and there's the creek down there in the very bottom. And then over there on the other hill, you can see how bare it is over there. See all the pine straw over there compared to this. That over there on that side of the creek was not cut quite as thin as this was over here on this side of the creek. And you can run a fire through here and you talking about fresh new growth just exploding on this area because of sunlight. The sunlight will be able to get to the floor pretty good and it'll burn all this stuff off. And like I said, this has been three years ago. You can see the, the smut on the base of the trees. This actually got a really good burn through it. I, I got some really cool drone pictures from uh, from this area. And if I remember, I'll, I'll grab them and put them in this video where you can kind of see what it looked like. It was, uh, it was really impressive when it came down through here. So uh, the thing about it is it generates that new growth, that good tender growth, takes out a lot of stuff see all the briars this thing will jump back up in briars great cover for the deer but during the spring man <laughs> burn is like crack to a turkey i mean they they'll be here so last year this wasn't even here and what i did was i came into here with my blade and ran it for a fire lane and then this past fall in October 23 then I came back with the Furminator even though this is closed in with trees and I were I hit this with the Furminator look at that how it opened up in the just a green strip down through here 